Today, science tells us that the vast majority of the ocean remains unexplored, and every year we are discovering and describing new species to science from all over the world. Thailand has a rich history of marine science and management. However, there is still a lot of work yet to be done to explore, preserve and protect the fascinating marine environment. My name is Rahul and I'm a marine biologist working at Gotao, a small island in the western Gulf of Thailand. I'm also currently doing my PhD at Chulalongkorn University in Bangkok. Gotao is an incredibly popular tourist destination that is almost exclusively driven by marine recreation, such as snorkeling and scuba diving. At the New Heaven Reef Conservation Program on Gotao, the team works towards coral reef restoration and research on marine ecosystems. Through the program, I am working on a project to help introduce people to the fascinating world of marine biology and to involve people in the concept of citizen science initiatives at Gotao and the wider world. These elements are crucial in the underlying goal of this project, which is to promote conservation efforts for the marine life that, at least I, hold so dear. Much of the research happening at the island ranges from revealing the wealth of hidden and undiscovered species to monitoring and tracking sea turtle and whale sharks in the area. This is done by combining an in-depth understanding of wildlife with community engagement and involvement of citizen science. Here, I am introducing the Explore Marine Diversity project, which aims to provide materials and opportunities to the public to involve them in key components of the science and conservation at Gotao. The first step of this project is the conversion of years of research on nidibranchs and sea slugs into a medium that allows all those with an interest, whether they are locals or visiting, to understand and get involved. I have been researching nudibranchs and sea slugs for five years, but have been fascinated by them from well before I had learned how to dive and explore the sea. They come in all shapes and sizes, and most impressively, every colour you can think of, including colourless. All species are toxic to almost any predator that might try and eat them, and their interesting biology makes them valuable organisms in biomedical research. However, Many species around the world, including in Thailand, are just being discovered for the first time now, with many others still waiting to be found. Over the past years, our research has shown Kotao to be home to some of the greatest diversity of sea slugs and many other animals in Thailand. I am therefore trying to bring the findings of my research into the public eye, particularly on Kotao, so that people can identify what they are looking at and can help us by building the science even further. Here, I am creating a book highlighting the different species and habitats that sea slugs can be found at the island, including many of the new species that have recently been discovered in the area. This book will act as a first step towards bringing forward the goals of marine biological education, citizen science and conservation at the island, to be accessible to the public. However, as a student and biologist, I am unable to produce this book on my own at present, and so I am asking you, viewers and any fellow wildlife nerds, to help support me to make this first project of its kind in the region a reality. Any support at all would be much appreciated. This first step, I hope, will lead to continued progress in this area. Thank you for your help in allowing me to do this.